Are you looking to maximize your growth potential on your broiler chickens? Get that perfect seven pound broiler in seven weeks so that you can have a pen for the fair that weighs 21 pounds on the dot. Sometimes our broiler chickens don't grow as quickly as we expect them to. I'm gonna walk you through how I helped one of my friends expedite the growth rate that their chickens were experiencing because his chickens were a little bit light as they kept growing. He made these simple changes to make certain that he had seven pound birds at weigh-in. My name is Jordan Wright and I have a passion for helping people raise happy, healthy chickens. My friend asked me to come over to his barn so that I can see the environment that these broiler chickens were raised in because he was certain that he was missing just some key integral parts. And so I went over, saw that he had a beautiful barn with plenty of space for his chickens. He assured me that he had plenty of feed for them so that they can eat and grow big, but they just weren't quite as active as what he thought they should be. So as I'm walking into his barn, taking a look at the chickens, just a wall of heat hits me. And I know that broiler chickens need to be cooled down. If they get too hot, they will just sit there and pant. Well, when they're sitting there and panting, they are not eating and metabolizing the food or they're not eating and retaining the food so that they can grow bigger and grow into the correct weight that they should be. So what I had him do, because he had a window just like this, I had him take and open the window, open the door so that they had nice cross ventilation, and then put a fan up that blew the air out of the window so that the chickens never had the air blowing directly on them. And so we fixed the problem with the dead stagnant air. And so I just wanted to make certain before I left his barn that everything was situated. And I noticed he had 30 broiler chickens and he only had a five gallon water. And now they were not running out of water, but he was having to fill them repeatedly throughout the day. What I suggested is for him to take two five gallon waters and put them on the other side of the coop from what the feeder is. And then put a board that the broiler chickens had to go across so that it built up their breast muscles and their leg muscles as they were traveling in the building from side to side. We want to make certain that we have enough feeder space and water space for all of the broilers to get around the water and the feeder. The number one ingredient for the key to success on our broiler chickens is water. So if we make more water available to them, that means that you will not have to fill waters as often and you won't have to worry about your waters being empty. And you should have seen the smile on his face when on weigh-in day, his broilers weighed seven pounds, seven pounds, and seven pounds on the dot for that perfect 21 pound meat pen. So if you're interested in the history of the broiler chicken, click this video down below. It explains how one mistake led to an overhaul of the entire poultry industry.